Well, Adam's changing some spark plugs. We don't have Zarek here today, so we're going to do this with the old Android. Um, I don't think anyone will know the difference. No, it's basically but, the same thing. Yeah, so tell us what we're doing today. Well, we're going to find out if it's going to be worth spending, you know, probably $5,000, maybe a little less, to go methanol in the hopes um, in this particular car that uh, I can get the turbo to light quicker, not only on the brake, but also um, just off the brake and like basically within the 330. So before I spend all that money and we make all these changes, ditch an intercooler and stuff, I uh, want to make sure that it's a little promising. So we take all the E out of it, which I ran it perfectly out of gas on the bumpers. <laughs> on accident. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're going to swap plugs out right now, putting some tens in it. We're gonna go in and just change the tune up to um, fueling wise. It needs quite a bit more fuel, almost twice as much. Then uh, we'll probably turn off all the. I have a RPM uh, table and added like a Revlon raw set table. I have a timing pull table. We're gonna start and take all that away and see if it will still come up on boost by itself. And like if it'll do all that, then it's pretty much a done deal. Fucking inner <laughs> Yeah. All other bye bye. Gone. Let's see all that. It'll be a goner and I'll spend some money, but. If not, then okay, we're gonna get a better intercooler and just keep working at it. But it's gonna be interesting. I'm I'm really excited about it. We've talked about for a year. Everybody says uh, you know methanol will light any turbo. It you know it's pretty much God's gift to racing. And I don't have any complaints about it. It works really well in my car, but mine never had trouble spooling. So the, the cost jump to doing it is it's not a cheap uh, change. So you know for me if. And I'm sure a lot of people, if, if you're going to do it, we need to see the benefits of it. Because yep. I can spend 5000 bucks on a lot of other things. I'd rather have some damn trick flow heads <laughs> yeah. than dang methanol if I have to. But right. So we'll find out if it's going to be worth it or not. This thing should be the perfect example. It's a, a little 5.3, yep. and it's got tons of exhaust pipe. You know, it's really not a good situation for the turbo as far as getting it to light quickly. So this should be a real good example of if it makes a difference or not. So we'll use the data logs. Um, Adam pulled up, put on the brake outside, and we'll use the data log to time it and see if methanol makes a change. Basically what Sean has for target A fuel table and his base fuel table and we're going to throw them in my tune that I already have and that would get us like somewhat close on the tune. Um, I only have a Bosch O2 sensor in the truck so that thing will, will only go down to like 9 OAFR so I'm just going to turn closed loop off and comp off, um, learn off all that stuff and then we'll just kind of tune it by ear since we just really want to see what it does in the brake. We'll just get it running, idling where it looks decent, and then uh, try to make some rips on it real quick. All right. Had a couple of gallons left to eat, or a methanol we didn't know what we were going to do with for the winter. So this will be perfect. It's going right in the old gap train. We're just going to sit back in the truck. Yeah. Take water. Yeah, this is actual. Now, there's, I didn't know it. there's two grades of methanol. There's this nice dry stuff, or you can do like Nick does and leave it in your truck with the lid open and get some extra moisture in there. He says that helps. I don't know. I don't think you could run one that empty if you were trying to. That, or get all those little pieces of dirt in there either. <laughs> See that? <laughs> First idling on methanol. Wow. Wow. So he's got air fuel dialed in and this is uh he's pulling almost no timing compared to what he used to do so we'll see what this does. <laughs> You're gonna film it? Here, use this. This looks like a tube chassis <clears throat> film. Are you going to film it or are you going to be part of it? No, I can film it. So we're going to film it on the Lord's phone. So that way it's not vertical video. Uh, potato phone. Sometimes you got to make cuts to have two chassis. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like getting cut out of that class. See ya!
All right. He's right. <laughs> Tonight we had a dinner that I feel like she closed the place down early because it said 10 o'clock and at 9.40... She said, I'm going to have to get to lock these doors soon. Did you hear that? Yeah, and then the she goes, it's, saying the F-bomb. It's because Adam and Sean were arguing all night. Yeah, yeah. We're just trying to have a peaceful dinner. We had a heated argument over... Excuse me saying the F-bomb, I didn't say it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right, dude. <laughs> by a show, hand, by a show of hands, uh, did Adam say the F-bomb more than five times? Raise your hand. Before she said that? Uh, no. When she said it, you said, I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> show of hands. Moo, raise your uh, hand. <laughs> I don't know what they're talking about, dude. I didn't see yeah. that. There was nobody else in the family room but us, so it didn't matter. Yeah. It was an argument about how me and Adam changed the rules for Dig or Die and all these other races. Yeah. <laughs> you have to have a factory firewall, yeah. so we're sorry to the world for changing having Dig or Die do that. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Vegas got factory floors. Uh, it doesn't have factory nothing. I'm going to go on record as saying that I didn't know Start go playing. ahead. All nope. right. And go. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, my. All right. So we're going to go over the experimental process that Sean and Adam did this weekend after, you know, Adam had this great idea that he should change the methanol and it might uh, spool Sean faster. and I both did. Um, yeah. He talked me into it. It was a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. I, but I would like to say I was going to try a lot earlier in the season. But some a-hole who now owns a tube <laughs> chassis car wouldn't allow me to use any of the parts that we had laying around at the time. Not when, he, when he says use, he means a com like acquire oh. and then not give back. I wonder if that's, <laughs> if that's similar to this thing right here. I wonder if that's similar to this. All right, no, this is the only thing of Adams I've ever used. Um, you're going to hell for lying. <laughs> <laughs> not lying. There's oh, nothing I've ever used of his and not given back. Name something I haven't given back. Uh, in pieces. Giving it back in pieces is not the same as still giving it back. That's right. It is. It is. So yeah, we finally decided to try methanol to see if it helped truck spool. So like, it's been a problem a little bit all year. Like. A lot bit. Yeah. yeah. And, and it's it's not so much um, once you get out, you know, 100 foot, it's on the brake and it's the first 100 feet getting the thing to light on low RPM and trying to leave on a lower amount of boost. So it, it's really been a struggle to get it to go in for, in, with it. First gear leave, trying to leave on, you know, 4,000 RPM and five or six pounds of boost. Um, I finally, with the advanced tables in Holly, was able to get it to, to get there most of the time. But then actually as the truck started working better chassis wise, uh, you know, I was trying to leave off at eight, nine, 10 pounds. And he's probably zooming in my eyeballs or something weird. <laughs> uh, no, and no. I couldn't get it to be there consistently. So uh, it's it's cost me some races. I don't do with my hands. He's doing something weird. <laughs> Adam, raise your hands. No. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Wait, wait, we had a good dinner, she's a little tight. Can we can we so, stay focused, yeah, please? Yeah. Back to it. So, at the last race of Digger Die. You know, I had using the rev limit offset of Holly is like a really great tool. The problem is what the truck would do is it would go up and hit, you know, I'm commanding, let's say like 1700 over <laughs> the two step value. And that means I'm going to be at 5,000 RPM trying to build boost. Well, if it doesn't, the, that two-step rev limiter offset is based on a boost number also. So at, at four pounds boost, I'm trying to command 5,500 RPM. Well, if something happens and it doesn't build more boost, it'll hang at 5,500 RPM or whatever. So there was one round that it left on like 5,300 and seven pounds of boost. And That's thank fun. God TC kind of grabbed it and we still won the round. But there's just a lot of effery going on to make the thing consistently get where it needs to get boost wise on the chip and do its freaking bang bang thing and all that kind of shit so so there's going to be no more bang well i don't i can't say it's not it wasn't yet in testing we didn't it was very it smooth it all went right video. to what he commanded it was amazing yeah everybody yeah. said the methanol was great and it would light big turbos and but none of our cars really had trouble lighting turbos. It was really the truck. So right. and I, it was a perfect test. It doesn't seem like anybody has put, like I've not seen any videos where somebody had 
maybe the extreme situation we do where they really couldn't get the thing to light mm -hmm. and then you throw methanol in and it freaking works and that's exactly what happened now i mean that's all we changed the tune yeah put methanol in same injectors fuel pumps everything yep. change the tune change the plugs and turned off the advanced tables and, and it was a big difference yeah it hit the it hit the chip as soon as he had his foot to the floor yes. and four pounds which it never did before no so then we had to get it to make 10 pounds i did at that point have to go in there and do some timing pull but it, it was still nothing really aggressive and i mean with a little more tweaking it'll actually it'll be even smoother and quicker getting there so that's what we kind of have overlaid right here so the dotted line right there this is what this is my pass from digger dive it was like one of the last few rounds so basically right here this is me going watt this this line is rpm so there's how slow it was to get on rpm get up to the chip um with the way it used to be on e85 so it took a second and a half yes. to get on the chip previously right yeah that well that was not even the chip that was literally the same rpm because i'm out here commanding 5300 ish to, is actually the rev limit offset so you know, it, yeah, it took a second and a half to get to the same RPM that I was at and in half, half a, second. a second, basically, now on methanol, mm -hmm. which is just nuts. So you see it get there and it immediately starts running the chip. And at that point, now boost is climbing. So here's my line now boost. So we're at, whoops, we're at, you know, 4,200-ish RPM. And if we look over there, I'm already at a pound of boost. On the other one, with the 85, no boost, no boost, no boost. So we're still sitting here. We're two seconds in, and yeah, I've man. still I just got past vacuum on the 85, and now I'm already at two pounds on methanol at the same amount of time. So here we go. We're we're three seconds in. I'm at three pounds on methanol, and I think with with a little bit of yeah, this is no on, timing pull or anything on methanol. Well, <laughs> so I do have I'm adding timing right now to to get through the converter, but I'm actually was on less timing than the 85 getting it there, and then we start to yank some timing out to get it um, to make boost. So right here, we got ignition timing. I'm starting to pull it on the methanol already because it was on the chip, so I'm already starting to pull it. Um, with the 85, I'm still adding timing, trying to drive it through the converter to make RPM and make some boost. So yeah, we're three and a half seconds in on methanol. Where are we at? We're at three and a half pounds of boost, or no, four, four pounds of boost. Four, yeah. And I finally now on the 85, Hanging at 5,200 RPM, I'm almost at four pounds. And then as this thing finally gets up to, what is it, 5,400 even on the two-step, does it really start to make some boost for a second on E85 and actually climbs past where I'm at on methanol on that pull. So then the timing, as soon as it got up to that boost number, now my, my RPM limiter comes down. Here we are back at my normal two-step number, which is 4,200. And... So I'm hanging there finally with, with the 85. Losing boost. Yep, losing boost because I've came back down on RPM and when happens then the boost kind of comes down with it and that's been the real struggle too. But now here comes methanol just climbing on through and just going berserk as it starts pulling some timing. We're at nine, 10. I think I end up close to 11 pounds when it's in, done maybe. That might've been a different pull. So about 10, 10 pounds there in five and a half seconds. That was soon. the very first try. Right. This Maybe was, the second try. Yeah, it can totally, I know we can get it there even faster with a little bit of tuning, but this was, and it made boost that, that much better, that much quicker, got to the chip. The big deal is it got to the chip like immediately where it doesn't really Once do Once it's that. to the chip, you can pull timing. Exactly mm -hmm. right. So that's yeah. why we're able to yank it so much quicker where I'm still adding timing, trying to get it up to, you know, some high two-step number to move air and to move enough um, exhaust flow to get it to make boost before I can rip it all back out, uh, RPM and timing wise. So it's it's um it's freaking amazing. I'm really excited now because we're going to go with, um, you know, we're going to see how the fuel system works. I'm going to use my two tens, and we got a 10 GPM uh, air motor brushless pump to put in the my big tank in the back. So I'm finally going to use my big tank, um, and then I think we're going to use 112 1800 Holly on top of that, kind of just to make sure we got enough fuel. We're gonna have to run a base of 70 plus, it looks like, um, or 60, 60, 60, 70 is what Holly calculated fuel number is based on what we believe we're gonna use fuel uh, for it at like 30 pounds. So, let's yeah. it's 5.3 with a yeah. with a uh, 88 millimeter turbo can 
make what maybe 1500 yeah maybe so that's why we're you're probably gonna be able to get away with you know not having a mechanical pump yep which but, is awesome for us because this thing you know we do drive i do like to drive it around so with my two tens and the big tank even on methanol thing will go 60 70 miles probably but then we can throw gasoline or 85 in and drive it in where we want with no issues so yeah it was a win overall it was uh it was really cool to see it work that well it was neat actually just to throw the tune in and immediately fire up fire up and idle yeah it was yeah. badass so yeah. i think it was a win for all of us nick was right he guessed it was a lucky <laughs> guess but he was also right man. he's only been right oh, on one thing ever but that was what right. did you say <laughs> uh you know he, his prediction was correct oh gosh <laughs> but i'm glad it was so all right is that it um yeah. My phone's gonna die. Yeah, he's lying. That's it. We're nine minutes in. Yeah, good. Have Zarek cut that down to about two minutes. All right, bye. Um, so let me. See. I need to put all the other videos on the thing too, so Zarek can get to them. Still filming or doing something weird or something, are you? <laughs>